Good early evening, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging. Well, coming at you with thoughts of the day. I am dropping in after the live gig to name the, um, I lit a cig and I, hang on. I don't find it necessary to smoke during the, uh, short videos. Pardon me, I have been lying down. I do have to after the gigs and today my pain was really kicking in. So, I'm having a, a little bit of an issue getting the sweet spot in terms of my Kratom dose. It's good. It's just, you know, it all depends on, you know, if you've eaten, if you've not eaten, how long ago you ate, if, you know, all that jazz. So, I do recommend this Christopher's uh, Organic Botanical, but um, I just am having some issues lately with getting the correct amount. So, Kratom Love Reviews did point out today during the live gig, less is more, Lisa. <laughs> so, yeah, I think she's right about that. At any rate, Lounges of the Week, as I do after the live gigs, Weekly is come at you and and explain who, why they're loungers and who they are and why they've been chosen as loungers of the week. So our lows, L O W, Joel, Mick, and Robin. Joel being perpetual. He's really not. I mean, he subscribes to my channel clearly, but he doesn't partake or in the live gigs or anything like that. But he has been super supportive and helpful. I couldn't do this without him. He's purchased my printer ink and other supplies to keep the lounge going. And has helped repeatedly with game questions and just been a good sounding board for me in general. He's peaceful and loving and gives to legitimate charities and to individuals in need, namely me. I literally couldn't do life without Joel. So there you have it. And plus, it's his birthday, so it's mandatory that he's a lounger. Anybody whose birthday we celebrate is an automatic lounger, so you have that as well thrown in. Uh, Mick. Mick taught me the computer jazz ages ago and has really been a super guiding force with me in general. Because of him, I've opened my mind to different possibilities. He has a peaceful nature about him and has the ability to get people to think deeply about subjects without being combative about it. I love him and have for years, so there you have that, Mr. Mick. Uh, Robin, the organic neighbor, is an interesting and very well-educated member of society. She thinks deeply about issues, issues, all capital letters, and doesn't focus on personalities or political parties. A peace activist who wants the best for society at large and small, not only but she and her family walk the walk as much as possible by educating others about things like community gardens and organic-type farming and, um, you know, Things like that. I've told her about my many tin foil hat subjects, I guess you would say, and she opens her mind to it without being judgmental. And she has a kind and uh, she has a kind spirit in general. So those are your loungers, and that's why. And while I have you too, you know how on the first and third uh, Mondays of the month, I do the Share Care Nostril Flare Mondays, and. Uh, this coming Monday, which would be the day after tomorrow, will be the first Monday of the month. So we will be doing that. And what I do is I promote a couple of channels. Really, the criteria for that, ladies and gentlemen, is um, I don't promote anybody that's already reached a thousand. So it's anybody under a thousand who I think, you know, gives good content or does their best to maybe do something educational or just... Um, bringing people together, things like that. So um, I'll have to conjure up a couple of ideas because I'm really not sure at this time. But there will not be a live gig tomorrow. It's just, um, you know, because of the holiday and Perpetual will be cooking and his two of his three grandchildren will be coming over to Mother's and opening their Christmas gifts. I'm not making this up. They weren't able to make it at Christmas. They were all sick. So they're going to open those. And, of course, he got them Easter stuff and all that jazz. So, um, that's what we will be doing. In fact, when I sign off from here, I'm going to uh, probably make the corn dish that, that I have to make, um, which isn't that difficult to do. So, um, that's what's happening, and therefore we will not be having the live gig tomorrow. But if you absolutely can't live if living is without me, 3 o'clock on Monday, I, that's the only time I don't go live at 2.30 is the... Um, the first and third Monday, Share Care and Nostril Flare. It's really not super structured or anything, but I do promote the two channels and decorate stuff. You know how I am. And um, sometimes I'll take you on a map tour or show you the postcards, which I have to find. I have to rearrange them anyway. They're falling down. They're not. It's driving me nuts. So, you know, I do things like that. Tour people on the map. Um, 
show the postcards, maybe show you some stuff I got in the mail, and we just chat. It's a good way for people to join each other's communities uh, while they're on the live gig, so that's another reason why I like to do this. So, um, And not necessarily, you know, be playing a game or anything. I, I thought we might have to use... I thought we might um, run out of time today. Gosh, I couldn't think of what I was saying. But we didn't, so therefore we won't have to carry any questions over for that. I'm looking at my shelf because I showed the Elijah Cup today and the Passover Seder plate. They are the cleanest things on that shelf. Everything else has dust and cobwebs, and Barbie and Ken are working out or trying out for the Olympics while swinging on the um, the cobwebs, ladies and gentlemen, like uh, the flying trapeze artists. So, okay, I'm done. That's all. Just that's, This is what I do, so I'm doing it. Uh, launching with <clears throat> Lisa. Pardon me, the video series that has me launching. While coming at you with thoughts of the day, please join me, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And please remember that War is Indeed a Racket by General Smedley Butler. War is a Racket. Please pick it up, read it. Um, it's worded, you know, it's big print, double space. You can probably get through it in an afternoon. I highly recommend this. If you can afford it, buy this in bulk, send it to your school district, have them hand it out to seniors. That's my opinion. Okay, love you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.